Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, the first annual Chatham-Kent VON ride. Everything motorcycle in the Maritimes with Harold and Wendy Nesbitt. Kickbutt motorcycle drag racing in Napierville, Quebec. But first, Port Dover and Friday the 13th. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. It all started Friday, November 13th, 1981, with a handful of bikers that met up for a cold one here in Port Dover, Ontario. 32 years later, the tradition continues and it's grown in epic proportions. With well over 100,000 bikers, PD13 is the biggest one day bike rally in North America. It's Friday the 13th in Port Dover. Friday the 13th. Oh, this is my first time. Oh, excellent. Loving it. What do you ride? I got a co uh, Road King. Road King? Yeah, 97. Nice. How long you been riding? Oh, geez, since I was about 16. Oh, good for you. Yeah. So that was what, maybe about uh, 30 years ago? About a year or two ago. Yeah. <laughs> you always come here? All the time. Love Friday the 13th? I do, yes. Yeah, what have you been doing? Just walking around, checking out stuff. What do you ride? 98 electric glide. Oh, nice. Nice. Cruising in comfort. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. How long have you been riding? Uh, probably since I was 19. Oh, so a little while. Yeah. A little while. A couple of years. Looking pretty stylish out here. Thank you. You're uh, causing quite a ruckus in the crowd, and that's hard to do at Friday the 13th. <laughs> it is. Thank you. So Thank you. Uh, how long have you been riding? A few years. A few years? Yes. Good stuff. Yes. How much do you, have you been to uh, Friday the 13th quite a bit? Or? Pretty well every every time. Yeah, do yes. you have any wild Friday the 13th stories for us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anything suitable we for got, television? No. <laughs> so what do you ride? I ride a Boulevard. Boulevard? C90. That's cool. You say and that like you you say like that that like you, you're you're upset that it's not a Harley or I, something. I I tried to get a Harley this year, but it's I, okay. Boulevard's cool too. Yeah. And, and Chloe, you, I'm Chloe. on the shadow. You ride a shadow? Yeah. She Good just got her license on Tuesday. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah. New rider. Yeah. How you liking that? It's awesome. It is, But eh? it's a little scary. You always come to Dover, don't you? Yeah. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. It's always a good crowd. You've done the December Dover, haven't you? Yeah. You're pretty hardy. January. January, yeah. yeah. It's pretty hardy, aren't you? No, no. It freezes sometimes. But I do it anyways. Yeah, no kidding. Because you love it. That's why we're here, right? That's right. Where do you guys hang out? What's your favorite spot here? Uh, yeah. Down there at the... Uh, Probably the Nor Norfolk. Nor Nor Norfolk, yeah. Norfolk? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's a good spot. Yep. You got any wild uh, Dover stories for us? I do, but I shouldn't say. What do you girls think of Friday the 13th? It's awesome. I'm having a great time. Alberta? Alberta? Alberta, here I am. We got a buddy here that uh, lives down Peacock Point, so we hang out there and just come here for a little bit. Nice. Walk, walk the street, and that's about it. Been yep. here, done that, but love it. Uh -huh. Having a good time? Having a great time. It's Friday the 13th. Tell me, tell me a crazy Friday the 13th story. Oh, God, I can't do that. How long have you been riding? Uh, around uh, 30 years. 30 years? Wow, good for you. Do you always come to Dover? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's been, it? it's been six years, I can't remember. Oh yeah. yeah, six years since you've been here before. Yeah. And how you liking today? I like it. I it's like good. every day I came here. It's good. Yeah. C'est bon. C'est bon. C'est très très bon. I've been looking for you all day. Well, I've been up and down like a toilet seat. You're busy here. Yeah, I cover everybody's ass but my own. <laughs> <laughs> how long you been doing this? Well, I've been the thong man for just over 30 years. That's right. So. What makes you want to walk around half naked out here? Just for, well, to who's half the crowd? Where? Where? <laughs> where? <laughs> I'm a sun bum. Where are you guys from? Sudbury. 
Sudbury? Oh, you come a long way. Yeah, it was right a great on. ride yesterday. How long did it take you to get up here? Six hours, or seven hours. We came across the ferry. Oh, did you? Nice. See how you like in Dover? Oh, I love it. Good. I love it. What do you ride? I'm riding a bagger. Oh, that's uh, good. 05, yeah. You need a bagger. You're big dude. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. You need something to hold you up. That's right. And who are you? And I'm Dave. Dave who? Zuber. And what do you ride? Uh, I've got a 99 Dyna. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Love the Dyna. Where are you from, Jane? Litchfield, Staffordshire in England. I kind of figured by your accent. And you said you ride a bike. You have a few bikes? I've got a Heritage Softail Classic, um, a V-Rod, and a Fat Boy. Why do you got three? <laughs> I love it. I love my bikes. Yeah, and you did you come here for Dover? I came here for Dover. I've been trying to get here for seven years, and every time it's been in November or February or whatever, oh. and it just so happens it all came together today. Well, that wraps up yet another incredible Friday the 13th in Port Dover. We'll see you next time the 13th falls on a Friday right here and we'll do it all again. Thanks for watching and don't go away. After the break, there's lots more Biker TV coming at ya. After the break, we're motorcycling in the Maritimes with Harold and Wendy Nesbitt. On national TV to our beautiful Kent County. Come ride or visit for a great cause. The first annual Biker TV Victorian Order of Nurses Poker Run. Advanced Welding Techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Special thanks to Kent County Customs, expert service and cool customs. CPN, custom engraving and powder coating. G Bork, call for amazing deals. Biker TV Advertising, call us for a quote. Toad Cycle, doing it right. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans. Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt? Closed captioning by Biker TV Advertising. We speak to millions. My very first motorcycle was a 1959 uh, BSA. I wasn't just happy to have the 59 BSA that I couldn't, I had to put it together myself and I certainly wasn't a mechanic back then. The old story was back then you could pick up the Triumphs, the 500s and uh, the 650s. The war issue motorcycles were around because it was shortly after the war.
Well, the concept for the book really comes from traveling. It started out really as an idea that we talked about for 12 to 15 years. We, we would travel into the U.S. and uh, back in those days we'd come back aboard the ferry boat then, uh, which would have been the Scotia Prince. As motorcyclists, and I'm talking uh, 30 years plus ago, as motorcyclists traveling in those days, you seem to hang together more because you really were sort of considered an outcast. You weren't really welcomed along the road. We really truly wanted to make the motorcyclist ride more enjoyable. And by doing that, we had to contact the hotels and motels and convince them to welcome this traveler. In the beginning, we used to come home, and I used to mark with a felt marker on a map everywhere we have been. Well, eventually, you couldn't read the names on anything because we had been no everywhere. Scotia. <laughs> there is one little piece of road on the map about this long that I actually haven't been on by motorcycle. Other than that, we've been on just about every dirt road and every paved road in this province. We met a lot of people on the road, and it just... Uh, I love maps, even though Harold does all the drawing. I mean... I, I love the adventure of looking for places on a map and saying, okay, this is where we're going today and, and planning out a route. I think it's good for the riders to have all the information together into one. We follow our own maps. We follow our own descriptions. I want to be sure once you get there that everything's hunky-dory. Wendy has created an app. So if you forgot your book at home or you give it to another rider and you need to look up a phone number for a hotel or their address, you've got it right there. The maps are into it, it's indexed, uh, you can make notes into it while you're traveling. Uh, it's a uh, fully, fully functional, all linked up and enables you to take the book with you and you can download it directly to your device. If you're in an area where you don't have a uh, wireless hookup, if it's on a computer, it's stored on your computer, so you don't have to link up to something. Being able to have it digitally is going to enable us to get it out to more people. We are honored that uh, those uh, people across North America are, are ordering our book daily. Every day there's books going out, out of here, going across North America. It's good for the tourism industry and it's good for the riders to be welcomed with open arms. Stick around. When we come back, CMDRA drag racing in Napierville. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Subbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. Task performance, so you want to go fast. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Special thanks to Doc's Motorcycle Gear, a Toronto tradition. Dynotunes, motorcycle tuning experts. Biketoberfest. Live to ride. Dimple magnetic oil plugs. Hip cycle, where biker TV goes.
27 ans que nous avons la piste, même 28 ans. Et euh, nous opérons cette piste de course-là, mon mari et moi. Et euh, Nicolas et Carl Brunet aussi. Nos deux fils nous aident beaucoup. Aujourd'hui, nous avons une élimination et des qualifications et éliminations avec les top euh, fuel bikes et aussi les Harley Davidson et Destroyer et aussi les compétiteurs locaux de euh, japonais et Harley Davidson. Well, the Destroyer, actually, it's an exciting class. These are uh, factory-built drag bikes by, uh, by Harley-Davidson. They're V-Rod-based. Uh, the engines are all, uh, have been modified heavily to, you know, withstand more horsepower, more RPM. Uh, we're running low nine-second runs with them now, 140-plus miles an hour. And it's a heads-up class, uh, spec class, so it's fairly competitive. Fortunately, Mother Nature hasn't cooperated too much. We were rained out qualifying yesterday. Uh, it's looking a little better today. We're going to go with uh, two rounds of qualification and uh, our three rounds of uh, eliminations. We've got top fuel bikes here also that are going to uh, do two rounds of qualifications and get into their eliminations and hopefully get off with a good national event and uh, get the points uh, chase rolling. We're here to race destroyers. Very few of them were made, somewhere in the neighborhood of 500. And uh, it's a motorcycle that anybody can get on and run and run a 10-second pass in a quarter mile. Very close class, you know, it's, it's all about the same machine. You can only tune certain things and uh, very competitive. It's a lot of fun. In 2006, 2007, I participated to the series Destroyer. In 2006, I was Canadian champion of the series Les. It's a really good class, a class of pilot. Well, I think that uh, we're going to have a good track. We've got a little bit of heat already. Uh, track's dry, should be sticky. Looking forward to some quick times here. This is my fifth year doing bikes, and uh, I came second twice, two years in the West as uh, in the Destroyer class. So it's, uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, it's a lot warmer, so it's a lot of fun. Mais aujourd'hui, là, je suis prêt pour la course. La machine est prête. Puis on va faire notre mieux pour, euh, pour gagner. Ici, normalement, les conditions sont à peu près toujours bonnes parce que le vent est toujours du côté de la piste, donc qui est favorable. Aujourd'hui, il n'y a aucun vent. Plus, l'humidité est très élevée et la pression est basse. Donc, euh, sincèrement, performance. Mais c'est pas grave. T'sais. Tout le monde est handicapé de la même façon. Il y a beaucoup de machines, beaucoup de compétitions. Et puis, euh, finalement, Je pense que la température et la pression vont être meilleures qu'on qu pensait. Ici, à Napierville Dragway, nous sommes ouverts au moins cinq fois par semaine, les mardis soirs, les mercredis soirs et les vendredis soirs, pour les voitures de rue, les motos et les quatre-roues. C'est de 7 h jusqu'à 10 h 30 et 11 h Et puis, nous avons aussi des fins de semaine, les samedis et les dimanches, qui couvrent aussi les voitures de rue. Puis les euh, professionnels, les super pros et les muscle cars aussi. Nous euh, ouvrons au, à la mi-mars habituellement et nous euh, arrêtons à la mi-novembre. C'est une grosse saison pour Napierville Dragway. Now they got a bit of rain, so we'll see what happens whether they finish the event or not. But we broke our clutch hub, so that sort of finished us for the day. Doing our best, 100% uh, nitro methane. Harley Davidson's making over 900 horsepower. Uh, we're running eighth mile here. We put 192 up on the board miles per hour and uh, eighth mile. Lots of fun. Uh, second time here, the, the track preparation has been quite good considering uh, Mother Nature hasn't been cooperating. Um, so uh, we'll see. We did great in qualifying. If it's, it's rained for a little bit here, now they're prepping the tracks. We're going into eliminations really with uh, green or unknown track, so it'll be interesting to see how we do. After the break, the Chatham-Kent VON ride.
special thanks to Universal Cycle. We don't just sell motorcycles, we sell motorcycling. The Border Crossing, where Biker TV goes. Kane's Harley Davidson, Calgary, Alberta. The CMDRA, Motorcycle Drag Racing Action. Biker TV Advertising. Call us for a quote. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. We have parts, accessories, and lots more for all makes of cruisers, V-Twin, and Metric. Canada's largest selection of helmets and clothing. Shop our website, shop by phone, or visit any one of our huge superstores. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Atlantic Canada's largest motorcycle rally, the Wharf Rat Rally, Digby, Nova Scotia. If you're at all interested in any type of training regarding motorcycles, I don't think there's a better place in the world. We're Canada's number one motorcycle trainers. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Special thanks to Dukes, Harley-Davidson Sales and Service. St. Thomas Raceway Park, Motorsports Heaven. Hogtown Cycle, Friendly Sales and Service. Biker TV Advertising, call us for a quote. The Doghouse Grill, great food and motorcycle friendly. Most people know VON nurses, but there's a whole other side to VON, their community service uh, right. programs. And uh, most, and, and I must say that most of the services are personal and confidential. Uh, many of them have to do with people that are very ill, mm -hmm. and uh, they have you know various counseling services and so on. I think the services uh, provided by the the VON volunteers go from delivering meals to doing home repairs. What's going on here? Chrome will get you home. What's your name? Joe. Joe, and what do you do here? I do sales mostly. You're a sales guy? Yeah. Right on. How long have you been at Robinson? Oh, uh, 12 years. Yeah? Yeah, I think 12, about 12. Excellent. Exciting job. Well, I used to buy bikes here since about 1970, so. So you might as well get them to pay you. So I came back out here. This is my dad, Jim. He uh, got the bike ready, bought my poker card, plays my poker hand, puts up with all my shenanigans. What's it like to have a daughter that's such high maintenance? I never know what I'm doing in a house full of blondes. <laughs> You've been riding Sue? Oh, five years now. That's good. Five years. Good yeah. for you. What's your bike? Four. I got the 500 Kawasaki here today. Nice. I left a Yamaha at home. And you left us in your in your dust earlier. Yes. It's hard to catch up to her, you know. Mm -hmm. She's got places to go and stuff to do. Past like 30 bikers getting over here, and I stopped to talk to this guy. Why is that? Like, it's just a trick bag. You never know. It happens eh? all the time with you. <laughs> You're the only cab guy here today, I think. I think I'm the only cab. I'm representing. What's uh, what's Medusa? Is that your unit? Yep, yeah, that's a unit out of Sarnia. Right on. Okay, that was a battle over in uh, Afghanistan. Oh. So. Okay, so it does have a meaning. Yes, I do. Each each uh, unit's uh, named after a different battle or. A... Right on. What brings you out today? Just good camaraderie fun and 
Biker TV. Today I took uh, the time to do the ride myself. Um, I was approached by VON to, to promote this and supply the venue for it, and we love it. We love doing things like that. That's so, awesome. So you got great. to do some riding today yourself? I did. I think I saw you out riding yes, too. Yes, of course. ride today folks thank you so much for coming out i really appreciate your supporting the von uh, very very important cause and a very worthy worthy cause as well thank you to the biker community for coming out and supporting the von VON uh, has been providing services in Track and Trackham now for 75 years and uh, whatever your age, if you need the support or healthcare, VON are always there for you. So uh, it's a great cause and I'd encourage you to uh, support us again and uh, who knows, maybe volunteer your services sometime. So we're going to be aces high. Um, I'm going to shuffle the pack and you can... You can cut them, we'll see who, who gets first. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's called an ace. You're going to need an ace just to tie. Okay, what are the chances? Ace. Oh, it's a four. Ralph, congratulations. Ralph wins the, uh, the stay at the retro suites. wraps up an awesome first annual VON poker run. Many thanks to Duke's Harley Davidson and the VON Chatham Kent and special thanks to Bob Mann aka Pops for getting us all together today. Thanks for watching and until next time keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Two wheels, good enough for Biker TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at bikertv.ca. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Next week on Biker TV, classic motorcycles with artistry and iron. More killer motorcycle drag racing action in Napierville. The 42nd annual Paris Vintage Motorcycle Show and Calgary to Drumheller with Universal Cycle. Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all.